So update number three for the solar shed and we have insulated the roof with a layer of Reflectix, foam, and a blanket that covers the entire thing. And my viewers were correct, it makes a huge difference. And the reason I didn't think that I needed to insulate the roof is when I put my hand on the roof, it was nice and cool. But there's a tree on this side of the shed. So in the afternoon, it stays nice and cool to the touch. But in the morning, it actually heats up a lot. And so this thing was cycling like crazy in the morning. I should also add that it was a huge pain in the butt to cut each and every single piece of foam in Reflectix and then putting it inside of there. Also, I have a little gap between the Reflectix because it's good at blocking radiant heat but convective and conductive, it's not so much. So Reflectix and then foam sandwiched against that, and then the blanket hangs down underneath that. So it's pretty well insulated now. It's doing a great job. I cannot feel any heat coming from this roof. But we should actually test it and see if it makes a difference. So let's do a quick energy audit for the next 24 hours. We're gonna reset the meter and then come back in 24 hours. So relative humidity is 10%. It's been about 26 hours. Let's see what the consumption's like. 1.31 kilowatt hours, you guys. That is incredible. That is so good. But to be fair, it was 98 degrees Fahrenheit today, but I did not hear it cycling that much in the morning. And the last day before that, it was turning on and off. Well, the day before I insulated the roof. So this is making a huge difference on our energy audit. So the last week has been crazy. I've been testing the EcoFlow R600 and had so many problems. It took like a week non-stop but i left this system on at 75 degrees fahrenheit and it's worked perfectly the batteries are fully charged it stays really cold in here it's like freezing cold in here compared to outside so it's incredible look at this isn't this awesome it actually works and i actually got a chance to show some of my friends and when they walk in here it's like a refrigerator and it's solar powered it's only three solar panels that are powering this whole system. So I would say that this project is now complete, but I wanna wait until it gets really hot. Um, during the summer here in Vegas, it will be 100 or even 110 degrees at night, even at one o'clock in the morning. So when it hits those kinds of temperatures, I will give you guys another update. But so far, I am super happy. And yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys in the next update. All right, see ya, bye.